Good evening and welcome to day four of KATC Media Days. I'm Jamarcus Fitzpatrick. And I'm Megan Glover. Jamarcus, if I had to give a grade for today's attendance, I'd give Vermillion Parish an A+. No doubt about it, Megan. All six schools would show up, including the host, Erath High School, who turned the corner in 2021 with a 7-3 and regular season record. But their season would come to a halt in the postseason in the first round, and it would actually be the fourth consecutive season that they have lost a first round playoff game. Now it's a mountain that they've been facing for the past four years, and they're hoping to climb it this season. It's kind of their opportunity to, to, to set a new tradition here and um, kind of set a new standard of, of what it means to wear blue and white. And uh, you know, I think we've done a good job this summer and they, they kind of understand like, hey, you know, one, one of the one of the, the worst stats in ERS football is, you know, out of 67 seasons, We've only been in the playoffs 24 times. We want to break that cycle. We've been having it for so long that 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 hopefully it can fuel the whole team. And it's like we got to get after it. We have to do this. Erath brings back enough firepower to build on their success as the Bobcats are returning 11 total starters, including six on defense, a group that forced 22 turnovers last season. Erath also holds a motto for this year, the word identity, which means to dig deep to find out who you are. I feel we have families this year, so each team captain kind of has a group of guys that we kind of look at, kind of make sure they are getting all their reps in, doing everything that we could tell is correct. With this guy last year, it doesn't mean you got to be that same guy this year. You know, you can be you can be a better better guy yourself, and you know you can make improvements that you didn't think you could, and and um, you know we we've moved in the right direction. Erath also returns quarterback Lincoln Romero, who will be leading the offense in his junior season. Now, not only was Erath in the house, but